uh, this is just a quick question, actually, but it's not the first person I've heard someone say Joe Blanchard saw them and then got them into the business or suggested they get into the business, but then they don't work for Joe. They end up going to Florida. So why did you end up going to Florida instead of uh, working for Joe? Well, uh, I think uh, Joe wanted to introduce me into Texas uh, uh, when I got uh, when I got ready to go and, and, and introduce me as as a complete product uh, to use me on top. That's my my line of thinking because hmm. the only thing I did uh, for Joe Blanchard, I, I I I worked out a little bit there with with him and Tully and. Then uh, I was I refereed two or three matches, and then Tully and I went together to so I could get trained. He wa- I guess he wanted me to get trained and get some experience, and then come back uh, and and work for him. With um, training in Florida, that must mean that you trained under Hiro Matsuda. Yeah. How did that work yeah. out for you? Then I take it you didn't get the old broken ankle in two minutes kind of treatment. No, I, I think, you know, uh, the fact that I uh, had pretty good uh, people that uh, brought me into the business, uh, he, and, and I, I mean, I, I was an athlete, and and, uh, and I had a, a pretty good attitude. I, I was not conceited. I, I, I didn't know anything about wrestling, and I went in with the attitude, and I'm willing to work hard, and I just want to learn, and uh me and Barry Barry Orton were breaking in at the same time. Uh, Barry Orton, his father would come in and, and train him, and and Bob Orton uh, would come in from time to time and get in the ring with us. Uh, but he he uh, Hiro Matsuda wasn't crazy about Barry Orton because it, Barry Orton was breaking in, but he was already uh, acting like a heel in the ring, and you know. <laughs> You know, uh, clouding around in the, in the ring because you know the, every. I was talking to uh, Barry Windham uh, yesterday, and I said, "All you guys that had a father uh, in the business, it, the business came natural for you guys." Excuse me, and and uh, you know, down the line, you know, Tully, uh, me and Tully went to. Uh, Florida, and, and I mean, he was having matches, and I used to, I, I used to say, I used to watch him, and because that, that was one of the things they 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 told me, watch all the matches. So I, I was a like a scout. I, I scouted. I, I watched every match uh, from beginning to end, and and uh, you know, when you don't know anything about wrestling, is you don't really know what you're looking for, but. When I saw his matches, I knew that uh, this guy knows what the hell he's doing. Uh, how did he learn it so so fast? But I was like talking to Barry. I said, I, I I would imagine that Tully was had been wrestling for a while, in, in, you know, in the summers uh, for for his dad making money, you know, strapping on the boots uh, at a at a pretty young age. Can you give me? Um... I don't know how many weeks or months you were working under Hiro Matsuda, but can you give me, let's say, a typical day of what he would drill you through, the calisthenics, and what he would teach you and what he would not teach you? Well, uh, we, we, we would do... Uh, conditioning was, a, was, was, was big, you know, with Hiro Matsuda. Uh, a lot of Hindu squats, you know, just standing up and popping up, uh, squatting and popping up and, uh, and doing squats. Uh, he didn't try to tear me down. Uh, he he uh, he he knew that I didn't know anything about wrestling, and uh, he just started me from scratch. I mean, hitting the ropes. He, he says uh, hitting the ropes can be very dangerous, and and I would spend you know quite a bit of time just hitting the ropes and hitting the ropes and. My whole side was uh, black and blue. You know, my my lats on the on, on the right side where I would hit the rope. And he says, every time you hit the rope, you know, the the right leg uh, is very important because if the if the rope breaks, if you're not ready to stop yourself, you, you know, you're going to fly out of the ring and you know probably get a pretty good injury. And then, uh, uh, basic, uh, I would start. Uh, he would get down. 
and I would uh, come, come across and I would put my head and, 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 and do a flip and I'd land on my back. So I could learn, start learning how to land on my back and, uh, and just uh, jumping up and, and, and taking a bump. And, you know, you got to make a base, to, you know, mm. and, and uh, cause when you, when they would throw you up, you know, you weren't necessarily going to land st straight every time, but you, you would try. I remember landing on my elbows. My right elbow was always really puffed up. Uh, and then, uh, like throwing a drop kick and, and, and you know, I, I was scared to death of throwing a drop kick because, you know, just landing, you know, uh, I, I was scared to death. And, you know, you got to throw the drop kick and turn, in the, you know, in the air and, and, and fall and catch yourself and get right up and uh, taking back drops. You know, that, that was the, because I, I wasn't very good in the air, you know, recognition of where I was in space. Uh, the I remember the uh, the first bed drop that I started. You know, I, I guess uh, put my head and, and you know flipping and landing, and then another thing that I would do, uh, put my head, grab his waist, and flip over. You know, to control control your body. And, mm -hmm. You know, uh, he taught me step by step. You know, he, he taught me like uh, treated me like a baby. You know. Uh, learning how to walk and, 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 and I, I had to learn how to walk because I didn't know I didn't know anything and then he, he, uh, I, I was telling you about uh, Barry doing high spots and stuff like that uh, when he was gone and his father was not around he would say that idiot is, is never going to make it in the business you know uh, he says all you need to do is learn uh, the takedowns he says learn the takedowns and you can have a match with anybody. So he was very a very basic man, and uh, I'm talking about takedowns, uh, uh, a headlock. Take the you know would work on getting the headlock, taking the guy over you know uh, the the right uh, posture of the body, uh, arm drag, uh, go behind you know single uh, go behind and, and, you know uh, a schoolboy, and a single leg drive, a double leg drive, and uh, fireman carry. There were seven that uh, I can't remember the other one. I just mentioned six, I think. I can't remember the other takedown, but uh, I would work on takedowns, 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 and, and uh, you know, uh, I, he would not work with me doing any any, any high spots. He says uh, the rest you can you know you can learn. You can have a match with anybody if you know how to do the takedowns. So, yeah, the uh, fundamentals. The fundamentals. <laughs> basic fundamentals, you know, and, and, and he said, watch the match, watch everybody work. And, you know, uh, one of the things that I, uh, that, that I couldn't understand is how, like when I was in a match, uh, when I started wrestling, you know, like I would always humble myself and I would say, guys, please watch my match, and, you know, critique me. And, and uh, it's pretty hard when, when, when somebody critiques you and tells you what you're doing wrong, but when you think that you're, you know, you know, it, it's hard, it's hard to take a critique. But, uh, I, one of the things that I couldn't understand, I would watch the main event matches, you know, how, how do you start a comeback? And one of the concepts that I had a, a hard time and it took me a while, one of the, concept that I had, you start a comeback and you get the people up, you know, when, when you're fired up, and then the heel ends up on the ground, you know, the people go down, and, and I would watch, how do these guys get them as soon as they come back, how do they get the people up again, you know? Uh, that was hard, very hard for me to understand, uh, but it also took me a while that these guys that were doing this, they had been pushed on TV, and everything they did, the people pop for them, mm. you know, where I would have to go over there and, and, and work my butt out for 20 minutes and, and, you know, get a very little pop, you know, because people didn't know who I was. And, you know, uh, I guess time and then being over with the fans, you know. Yeah. It's, it's worth its weight in gold, you know, the recognition mm -hmm. of and the audience's expectations of you as well, as, right. as opposed to going in cold. Yeah, no, no matter what, once you get over with the fans, no matter what you do, 
you know, they're going to start pop. They're, they're going to pop for you. 